Yo, Jamaica, people, young youths, what we say my side? God, I not care how we bad. What we say, brother? God, I God, God, God not care how you bad, I youths, them we go for, bro, God. Believe them, man, look how much out there. Brother, if this can motivate you, nothing not going to motivate you, brother. All of you are youths. God, I God, not care how you bad, put on a gun, brother. I want to put on a gun, brother. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on. A blessed and wonderful Wednesday evening to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now my peeps, I have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going on. In a Jamaica, God a God, no care how no bad. Yeah man, me I tell you. I love that slogan there and on the spot news media will most definitely be using that slogan because at some point in time you know, we have to just come to the realization of what go on in Jamaica and we have to just change that narrative there. Yeah man, God a God, no care how you know, bad. And those words are coming from the mouth of a youth that was once a troubled member of John Public. Now I have for you a clip of his live. And uh, the person that sent me this also sent me some messages, also sent me some responses from persons on his live. Some people are laugh off of him, say I go at church. Some people are laugh off of him because he believe in our God. Some people are laugh after the man for some simple reasons because the man decide to take a moral standpoint towards certain things and acknowledge the fact that, yo, we are all subjects to the creator and that there's a higher power that we all have to answer to at some point in time. No, the man was ridiculed by a lot of persons. Now, let me show you something real quick and fast. For who no believe in a God, for who need a reason that there's a God, this on your screen right now, you remember that girl, you remember who this person is presently on the screen? Living proof there's a God if you no need a reason. Yeah, man. Well, for those who is unsure, this person here on your screen is Kaelan Dowdy, who was brutally beaten by some woman to a pulp, literally almost lose her three pints. I just the grace and mercy of God, and of course, the contribution of thousands of caring Jamaicans and even non-Jamaicans why this young woman is still alive today. So as I stated, living proof there is a God if we don't need a reason. Now I'm going to play a little part of this man's Instagram live. And I want to know if listen to him carefully. I'm not sure if I Instagram live, but some live. I want to listen to the words carefully of this young man and tell me what I want to find funny about it. Why he was ridiculed for saying these words. This young man definitely should be the face of all communities right across the length and breadth of Jamaica. Whatsoever he did in the past, he acknowledge it and decide to make better of himself in today's day and age, in the present. So we have to commend him and we have to commend everybody who is in support of him. And I just hope that some of the regular ones and ones them out there 
who is on a slippery path will at least take a page out of his book and change and turn away from your ways because it's going to end up one out of two, 35 to life or six feet under. Yeah, man, tell me which one on the rather. I would not choose any of the two. I would have chosen the path of change. Say no way. Listen to what I go on. Cover him, Jesus. So Watch to the end. So on the phone, brother. Because we don't going to call on crosses in our life. And yet this thing on the way alone, the crosses are coming down. Pan. It happened to the good, the good one them in our family too. Four crosses are washed off by our mother, brother. We crosses them are washed off by our sister. We little baby, brother. We little baby, sister. We little baby, cousin them. Because them are follow our footstep. Them see we gun them. We not hide it from them because we want everybody to say we are, we are done in our place. How we are on the street. How we are lucky ground. People. People. My right name is Kashiki Linton. My grandfather, Alide Linton. He is an evangelist. And I can tell you the first thing before all of my goals. I don't know, I don't know the first thing I wish for. It's when I go to basic school, my mother have a video. And if I never had a video, they would even know what I so. When they ask me more, more to become, I tell the people I'm a pastor. I want to get bigger and watch if you tell my mother, say, I hear that man, bridge pastor. What kind of pastor? But God, God have a belt for you all away. Look how me there, Sado. You know, sister, I'm media, I hear that, brother. Look how me there, do. See, man, I say, I don't come preach to nobody. Look how me there, do. God has shown us a miracle God has worked through me, right? That's like me change. And no found anybody who ever seen a lifestyle more than me. Say so if you don't feel like you don't know the too, you know the too far in the Brother, I one thing with God. You don't know the too far in the darkness to God. God, the back of you with a flashlight. And now nah, lock it off. Why well, you know in the darkness? How we choose to black out the light there. And as we stretch, for, as, we, as we say God shine the light, he shine it. Like we take God feed yet. How long God has got to deal with you like how I deal with you? With so much mercy. How long am I going to deal with you with so much mercy? The day when he come back on the earth, the day when enough is enough, brother. And the day when enough is enough. Father, God, I go with mercy. And we are take it for granted, virgin. We are take God mercy for granted because we know so we can go ask back for forgiveness. So we are take advantage of that and we are, we are abuse that. We are abuse it, people. Because we, oh, we can't go, we can't, God, I see you at any time. Brother, no. No. And I say, go, you need to have conscience, man. Not because of my, not because of my, I forgive you, you go, you go, you go disrespect him so much, time. I respect it. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Oi. Hey, man. When you hear me, I say, man, I could change the man. I could change the man for better than people. I could change the man. From day, I can't talk, I'm there, so I talk all long. From day, I fight for my friend, I'm here, what I say. From there, me, me sit down, everybody, me there on the whole line, man, them brother, every man, I sit down and I say, yo, oh, artist, what am the artist? Because me a meds far. Me a meds far, you know, me a meds. Me sit down and me a meds about Jesus, brother. Believe me, me not make up no honor telling you. Me a meds how me can be a better version of myself, brother. Believe the man. Well, my peeps, there you have it. Coming out of the mouth of one of our very own regular member of John Public who had made a few mistakes in the past but decide to use the key word where him say become a better version of himself in my meds deep in my meds far but me see this a little bit more now you see more time peeps God always Send somebody for one before somebody get the can. Yeah, man. And when time I say can, you know, it not necessarily just mean a gunshot to your skin. It can mean many other things that will lead to your demise. We always get a warning 
before we get the con in. So again, my peeps, a word to the wise is always sufficient. Turn from on a wicked ways. I mean, no, so I may speak to the converted, you know. But we just hope that it can rest on the heart of even one. Yeah, man. I make we give him a ticky and take back the wrong bang. I just saw me look on the thing. I just want the ones and ones them know say, you know. When on the spot news media and other like-minded vloggers do what they do. And I hate we hate to know, you know. We just hate the dirty lifestyle we want to live. And I take the life of the regular members of Chan Public or fellow Jamaicans. The same people them where if a white man come clap him where or a white police do that. Whether a yard or a broad, everybody black road and say black life matter. So what happen? When you take the life of your own black brother, black life no bother matter again. And me I got to say this to the politicians. Mr. Andrew Wellness and Mr. Mark Golden, opposition leader. This Dalios business I want to go on with can't work, you know. This cheap popularity on our run election after likes and who get the most likes from people that now got change society. Either or, I forgot to make the unpopular decision there. At that, I got definitely give effective change. No business about who like who. And no business about who want to vote for who. We put you in a power to do the right thing. And the right thing right you now. I to just deal with the thing. And the brute force. Because uh, that alone can keep some of in check. Yeah man. You don't have to just do the unpopular thing. And just deal with the thing like how it's supposed to deal with. You have to come up on them many oppositions. But my granny always tell me, say, you know, when you do it right, you have to get a fight. I just saw the thing said. Do the right thing. Put aside all of the naysayers. You know, business about what them want to say. You just deal with the thing like, oh, you know the thing to deal with. Because we know, no, no, you know, how to curb crime and violence in our country, you know. Big tick over back, man, and big belt. Make some big wheel in some people back. Yeah, man. Not literally, but you understand the figure of speech that me are talking about. The new clerks on foot and the ugly on old lady down the street to get some cheap popularity and some votes that now got change our present situation. Hardcore policing. Hardcore military intelligence and military action might I got definitely change Jamaica. Put aside what the human rights want for say a few country. So we have to just deal with it like how oh, we need to deal with it. Take a page out of El Salvador book. That president had to do what he had to do and it curb the criminality in that country. And look at El Salvador today. To what it once was of yesteryear. It's still not the out of the shadows yet, you know. Them still have a far way to go. But they have also come a mighty long way too. So we too, as Jamaicans, have to do the right thing. And there's a lot of people out there who still have pushed this in farm of a dead thing. And I talk about bloggers this and bloggers that. Let me tell you this. If it was not for the likes of like-minded bloggers like myself, nothing of one wouldn't there. And no mama, no papa, no sister, no brother, cousin, auntie, uncle, nephew, niece, probably wouldn't there neither. Pred out like she type of settings. If our forefathers was cowards like what some of you are, many of us would have still left on the cotton plantation a pick cotton like war right now. Yeah, man. We need to stand for something or else it's going to be nothing, literally. So again, my peeps, that I come from my heart because I feel it to the core for see what my beautiful island home, Jamaica, has narrowed down to. I tell you this over and over, you know, everybody else in the world love we. 
and we are alone here to we. There is no country in this world the size of Jamaica or even bigger that has made the impact that Jamaica has made on this world. Don't take that something there for granted. Don't take the Bob Marley, don't take the Usain Bolt, don't take the Marcus Garvey's for granted. People in the US, it's because of a Marcus Garvey why you got a Malcolm X, why you got a Martin Luther King and many others. My peeps, turn away from your wicked ways. We are definitely God-chosen people, Jamaica and Jamaicans. Look into our history, see where we're coming from and all the positive effect that we have on this world. Stop spitting in God's face. And as that young man right fully said, anytime the Almighty unleash him, wrath by we again, enough is enough. But me just hope me get a little small hint so me can take away my bat and I get caught up in it with some of uno. Because sad to say, you know, no for uno, never worth it. Yeah, man. Say anyway, my peeps. Remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.